to Crazy Bingo Time. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are continuing with The Last of Us, Episode 7, Left Behind. Oh, now, if you guys are aware of, like, the story, like, currently where we're at, if you've played the video games or not, or if you've just watched playthroughs, which is totally fine, um, you would know that this is... This is one of the most emotional parts of the game, because this is basically a little bit more of Ellie's backstory and just... I am... My, I'm not sure if I'm emotionally ready for this. Anyway, we're gonna jump straight into this. Um, I'm super excited. Last episode, of course, we were left. Such a sad note. <laughs> Joel got stabbed! And also, yeah, we went through some big character development for Joel. Um, ex like, him just expressing his emotions so sad and just also just so heartbreaking and then also we got to see more about Ellie and even Tommy like Tommy has basically become the older brother to Joel and just yeah it's so good and it was so amazing to see the discussions online to see people's reactions to it a lot of people I did I said it last episode but I cut it when I was editing because I had to edit twice so I was just like hey, I'm just gonna cut it out but I had said last episode that people are gonna be angry about you know the emotions that Joel expresses and funny enough or not funny enough either way, it did happen. We did have a lot of people say like, oh my god, like this isn't the Joel that was in the game. And it's like, well, this is the more realistic version that we probably should see more often in men just cause like, we don't get to see a lot of men, I guess, in their vulnerable state. So that's why, I don't know, it's so beautifully done by Pedro. And just, again, I hope that he gets an Emmy just for that performance alone. It was so good. Anyway, let's jump straight into this without further ado. Um, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video. But also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Neil Druckmann, who was the director of the game and also directed episode 2, has written this episode. So, God, he's gonna obviously break us. Without a doubt. <laughs> Oh, is it for, um... Hey! I don't want to fight about it. Fight about it? You don't fight. Friend fights. She's not here anymore. Is she? Girl! Oh! You about to get wrecked. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Bethany started it. Well, Bethany's the one who made with 15 stitches. Good. Oh. Good. You're smart, Ellie. You're so smart, you're stupid. Two pass ahead of you. You follow the rules, you become an officer. You get to tell the Bethany's of the world exactly where to shove it. Well, he's laying it on truthfully. He's potential, so he's like, I won't punish you, I'll tell you the truth this time, but if she probably does it again, then sh sh he'll probably punish her again. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, where have you been? Are you okay? I'm fine. I just ran away for a bit. That's all. If you're going through some shit, you're supposed to, I don't know, talk to your best friend about it. I joined the Fireflies. Oh, fuck you. I'm not in the mood for this, Riley. I'm really not in the mood. You're a Firefly? Jesus. I told you I'd fucking do with me for a few hours and have the best night of your life. No. Okay, now say yes. No. I don't know, should I trust you? Of course you should, with your life. <laughs> I love them. Oh god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. You can mix pills with that shit. I think you know what I was doing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> shit. <laughs> right, you were in the hole. I got bored, so I snuck. And this chick popped out of nowhere. Chick like our age? No, like 40 or 50. <laughs> she said she was impressed watching me and she asked what I thought about Fedra. Fascist dick bags, and they're the ones that should be getting hanged for their crime. I said yes, and now I'm a fire. We're on a mission here. 
I like that because that sort of feels like in the game. So like it feels like you're transitioning from like a cutscene where you're talking and then it's like, okay, we've got to keep moving. So then you proceed to the next part where you're allowed to get a cutscene. I don't know. I like that transition part. That was very well written, that part. Go through it. Wait. No. Fucking turn right, open the door, tell me when you're there. Go. Fine. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, look at the wonder in her face. Oh my god. Tonight I'm gonna show you the four wonders of the world. (laughs) Oh my god. Oh my god, this song. Why are they playing all the good songs at a copyright? I gotta turn it off. I don't know what what to say, I'll say it anyway. <laughs> oh, I love her. She's perfect. On me. <laughs> Take me on. <laughs> Be gone. Oh my god, I love them. Day on two. Sorry. <laughs> it's so good. It's my favorite song. Why people back then wanted all this stuff. Do you need me to explain it to you? Ha ha, no, I know why. It just looks uncomfortable. It is. <laughs> what? Nothing. I was just trying to imagine you wearing that. Shut up! Tell him a mall, though. We don't have that here in Australia. Good damn. What? Uh, <laughs> nothing. You're drunk. No. Yes. Not yet. You need help? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you really leave because you actually think you could liberate this place? Don't say it like it's some type of fantasy, Ellie. They've done it in the other QZs. Set things right. If you come back, I mean, we're... Or like the future. Oof. You know what Quan gave me? Sewage detail. Stand in guard while people shovel shit. <laughs> Is that a time machine? Let's go, bunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Uh, um, uh, uh, wish we could... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> just care. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay, sorry. I got you. Oh, Riley. Oh, sick. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Squish her cheeks again. God damn. She's so sweet. <laughs> you asshole. Yeah, I'm the same asshole that spent an hour yesterday breaking this fucker open. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Oh, oh Mortal Kombat, yes. So good. Oh uh, wait, how do I play? Smash the buttons. There's so many. Literally. That's what I do when I'm with my friends, just smash. Finish him! Do not finish me. Oh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Oh god, why are we pulling away? <laughs> I see dolls. Uh, oh, damn. Ta-da! Volume 2. Shut up! <laughs> you made a second one? Where did you get that? Um, how does a computer get drunk? It takes screenshots. What are screenshots? I don't actually know. <laughs> well, I know what that is, and I think that's pretty funny. Oh. I would never let them do that. You would never let them? Right, and you think they're gonna listen to you? Damn, Ellie, that's a little bit blurf. Ellie, I'm leaving! They're sending me to a post in the Atlantic QZ. Why did you bring me here? The height difference, just gonna say. (laughs) This isn't easy, Ellie. It actually is. You just did it. Oh, Ellie. I was gonna say, oh. 
Why is it all dark suddenly? Riley! Oh god. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you little. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a clown head? I hate clowns. <laughs> oh, cuties. Okay, I will dismiss the clown mask for now, but this is very cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the relief. Oh, I love them. Get ready to run. Oh, God. That's a ruin. Oh my god. Go ahead, run! Oh my god, it sounded exactly like Ellie. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, stop it. I do. God damn it, dude. Oh, that was freaking amazing. That was so good. I love the DLC. It's so beautifully done. And this, of course, was so beautifully filmed and written. Neil, screw you. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> You're breaking our hearts again. The friendship and love between Riley and Ellie is so beautiful. And it's the same in the game. Like, they confess and they're like, they kiss, obviously, as well in the game. And then tragedy has to happen. It's almost like, yeah, like I feel like with Last of Us, it's like every time there's hope or like this feeling of like, oh yeah, we're gonna do this, or like we're gonna make future plans, boom, something happens and it's so, like, oh my heart can't take it. Bella Ramsey and Storm, I think her name, what's her name? Storm Reed. I was about to Stormy Reed. Storm Reed 
both of them fantastic actresses and just both of them just amazing they're so good at what they do um and also I need to remember that with Bella, I only found out recently that they go by they pronouns. I'm going to try and be better at saying that for them because they deserve that um, and deserve to be respected. So, yeah, Bella, absolutely amazing. So, so good at playing Ellie. Again, for everybody who keeps saying, oh, Bella should have been, like, played by... Someone was saying, like, the girl from Stranger Things, the one with the orange hair. I was like, no, that's the, the, no, that's not Ellie. What you talking about? And just, I feel Bella is just perfect as Ellie. No question about it. And then Storm was so... Storm is such a beautiful name. I'm so jelly. <laughs> but anyway, um, Storm was amazing as Riley. She's so good. And I've seen her in a lot of other stuff too. She's a great actress. So when I found out that she was going to play Riley, I was like, yeah, like she's going to be perfect. You can tell that she's older and that she has a little bit more like experience, but also just like a maturity compared to Ellie. And I think like, obviously we see that Ellie does mature, I think obviously after losing Riley. And oh, I'm so glad because I was wondering what they were going to do in terms of like, if they're gonna show if Riley turns into um a, a, like a clicker or whatever I was really scared about that but I'm glad that they didn't show it um because I don't think I don't think from memory in the game they didn't show that either so in a way I'm really glad they didn't I also just appreciate just I don't know just like the aesthetics and also just the I don't know, the sweetness of the episode. It was so beautifully composed. The music, just, yeah, just all the shots were so perfectly done. The lighting and just, even just like, how do I explain it? The innocence from a friendship like this. Like, this reminds me of when I was a kid or like when I was younger and like, you know, you'd go to the arcade with your friends. I still go to the arcade all the time with my friends. But like when you're younger and you get that excitement to go to the mall, like it's a big deal and you, you go and do stuff. And it's just so sweet and just so heartbreaking because, again, it's that thing of future plans. Like, it's just so heartbreaking and then disaster stri strikes. And I like that build up as well with just like, because even though there's just, we can obviously see friendship, there's also a layer of love to it too. So that's why I love that build up between them. Like, both of them want to like go for the kiss. They want to go for more like PDA sort of thing, like more comfort for each other, but they don't. And then obviously there's that moment where they do kiss finally and it's just like, yes, like finally. So yeah, this is where I think of, this is where definitely we see like Ellie like learn a lot of lessons in terms of like the loss of people and how she has to survive because we do see her you know like complaining a little bit at the beginning like oh why do we have to do this why do we have to do that she's out of breath and then we see her in like the first few episodes of like the actual show where she's actually like full on like into it she actually is actually concentrating and trying to be better like she's like give me a gun I want to fight I want to protect and it's just like that's beautiful and just so heartbreaking too. Now that we see this as like the prequel to the rest of the series, it's just so well done. Thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode, episode seven of The Last of Us Left Behind. I do like how everything with like the prequel stuff did link up to what's happening with Joel at the moment. Oh my God, his, oh, Pedro's face, like Joel's face when like he's injured on the ground and he tells her to go, just, oh, stop. It just, yeah, then the way that she doesn't leave, she just looks for something to try and help him with, and it's just so heartbreaking. And I love how, like, he, he, she comes back and just, he, there's relief, and just, oh, the way she holds his hand, oh my god, just, oh. And even just hold that, like, it leads to sort of, like, the parallel to what's what happened with Riley, but even just, like, the title, Left Behind. Like, unfortunately, she left behind Riley because... She wasn't infected, and also, she, I, I mean, obviously she probably killed Riley to put her out of her misery. But also with Joel, she doesn't want to leave him behind because, you know, they've grown this incredible relationship with one another, like father and daughter, and she's not going to leave someone else behind. Someone especially that she cares about so much and loves so much. She's not going to do that. And it's just so oh, beautiful and sad and just, oh. I will say, I am not looking forward to the next episode. I'm going to be a wreck. Um, it's just, oh, not looking forward to it, because <laughs> if you play the game, you know what's going to happen next. And, yeah, we, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> see you next week in a way. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, Fangirl, out. Woo!